Hey, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world. So, just been thinking a lot about Bitcoin here and some of the wall of worry that has been created on it and just kind of looking at the chart and seeing where we're at. But there is um, definitely a possibility for sub 10,000 on this again I I mean I put out a video last week basically saying the same thing and uh, I don't see much change in in what my thoughts were back then you know back then it was right at 15,000 I want to say it was let's see this is the four hour let's go look at the one day so it was right here and it was channelized between 12 and 15 and it broke up through and if you remember I said that I wouldn't buy until you had confirmation that it was going to get through the 15,000 mark which is you know some pretty good um, resistance right there I mean you've got resistance here in this area and I need to get rid of these crosshairs somehow I gotta figure that out anyway so you can see that if we take a trend line and draw it from here over to here. Now we were talking at that time about the fact that 15,000 was so tough to get through and it still hasn't. I mean it popped through and then it just came right back down and now it's back in this channel again. And this is a pretty tough channel. And this So this is the second week that I've talked about this. And uh, and so it's still here. And here's the problem now. I think that it is the problem is that now it's it's spending a lot more time below twelve thousand than it was before. I mean, it just seems to come down. This channel is still pretty tight. I mean, it still really is. It, yeah, it busted out here and came back, but then you could see it just jumped right back into it. You know, this was really kind of a head fake right here. It's like, yeah, okay, we're out. Here's some confirmation, buy-in. And a lot of people probably bought in right in here, would be my guess, because the trend line on the um, seven day the seven day moving average actually went positive for a long position but then you have the 99 day moving average that's still very much flat to down and the 25 day moving average is definitely on the downtrend so my guess is this is going to go back down to 11,000 or 12,000 anyway and retest that and it could very well just stay right in this channel for a while so we'll just have to see let's go to the daily again um and we'll just have to see what that looks like um but i definitely think that people really need to be prepared emotionally for some sub ten thousand trades and that's something that you know you just have to prepare yourself for and make sure your portfolio is prepared for that too you know if you don't want to um, I mean, right now it just looks like there's a lot of downward pressure on, on Bitcoin. And uh, as much as these trend lines are moving in the right direction, they're really starting to roll over pretty good. And that's the thing that would really take it down. And with all the things that are going on with Bitcoin, with the speed issues, with the fees, um, you know, now you have Ripple um, sitting at number two. And poised to take over uh, and that's another you know elephant in the room that nobody seems to want to talk about is ripple and uh, you know nobody wants to come right out and say that Bitcoin isn't always going to be the top dog but that isn't necessarily the case if you're thinking if you're thinking with your head screwed on straight you know that that's there's a serious possibility that Bitcoin is not always going to be up there so um with that said i really don't have much else on this video i just wanted to get this video out and make sure that people are prepared for you know even down to 5,000 range if you look at this chart longer term you know, 
that's too long. There we go. Um, I mean, 5,000 is not out of the realm. I would say that there's a heck of a lot of support at that range, but um, you know, from where this chart began to take off until now, any anything in there is possible. Uh, and 10,000 really isn't that big of a big of a move for it. So, I mean, that can happen in a matter of an hour. We all know that. So, again, just be prepared mentally and emotionally for that. Uh, when it happens, make sure your portfolio and your accumulation plans are in good shape and, um, you know, you have a long-term long outlook. And if not, then you need to make some adjustments um, to your plan, I think, you know, so that you're not freaking out every time it goes below 10,000 because... It could go down there and just start and stay there for a while. It would not surprise me in the least. Anyway, uh, again, these, this is not investment advice. This is just my uh, analysis of what I'm seeing in the charts with uh, between the, the 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 stuff that's going on with Bitcoin um, and people are really starting to stay away from it. Even people that I do business with say, "Well, don't send me Bitcoin because the fees are too high." That should tell you something, right? I'm sure you guys have had the same issues. Um, the volume has just been outrageous. And a lot of this volume came in, as you notice, after the Bitcoin futures came in. So um, is there a correlation between the two? Absolutely, there's a correlation. You just brought billions and trillions of dollars into Bitcoin futures. And people are hedging this, this thing like crazy. And um, so, yeah. Uh, there's going to be some pressure for and I talked about that before it happened what was going to go on was people were going to buy it up and then they were going to hedge it and um, make a bunch of money and they did that and that's exactly what's going on here so anyway um, we'll leave this video at this link <laughs> I didn't want it to get too long I just wanted to talk about making sure that we're ready for anything like that so Everybody have a great day, New Year's, and I will have a couple more videos coming out later today uh, on a couple of other ICOs and things, so take care.